Sarah was uh, a convict transportee brought out from Ireland to Hobart in Tasmania, which was Van Diemen's land at the time. Um, she was brought out from, from Ireland for larceny. She saw out her sentence in, in Hobart, um, was given a conditional pardon, um, but then returned to, to sort of a life of crime, I suppose, perhaps to feed um, herself um, and what was becoming a small family at the time. By 1867, she was in Sydney um, being picked up for, for pickpocketing um, on the streets around Sydney. Her trademark crime was to go up to women who were looking in shop windows um, along sort of business districts of Sydney uh, and sort of look at the items in the windows with them but slip a hand into the pocket of, of any of the unsuspecting ladies that were in that group and pull out their purse, put it into a concealed sort of pocket within her own dress and then uh, take that to a hotel, empty the contents and then go, go on her way. I think it was a total of around 36 years that she, that she had of, of prison sentences accumulated by the end. Um, she at one point had spent 15 straight Christmases in, in jail, um, complaining that you know, she wasn't spending time with her family. She had several children. First one is from 1872, first photograph, uh, and then there were another five taken across her life. So that shows a real sort of um, evolution, I suppose, um, you know, the wrinkles start to get deeper and, um, and the hair becomes grey. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting um, snapshot over that period. Uh, a desperate life, perhaps. Um, she said that she just couldn't help herself um, at, at, at one point from, from stealing. She obviously had some compulsion there, perhaps a, an illness, but I think all of that really helps to illustrate a person, I think is the most important thing, who was um, not living what we would consider an ideal life, but was nevertheless, that was hers.